All right. This is my, uh, <coughs> I think it's about 1914 Century Invincible electric motor. It is a, uh, is it, one, uh, one tenth of a horsepower. That's what it is. It's big oil wells in front and back. Right now it's set up to run a grinder. But what I'm going to do with this motor is I'm going to show you <coughs> how the contacts on a centrifugal starting switch work. Right here in the back of the motor, I have the access cover removed so you can clearly see the contacts. <coughs> when I start this motor up, when I flick the switch right here, you will see those two contacts pull apart. What that does is it shuts off the starter windings, which are no longer needed once the motor gets up to speed. If the starter windings were to stay running, they would start smoking <coughs> and overheat. So let me show you how it works. When I flick the switch and the motor gets up to speed, two weights inside the motor, which you can't see right now, will pull apart. When they pull apart, they'll pull the switch apart with them. Watch. There, you saw the contact move away from the other contact. And when I shut this motor off, you'll see them pop back together again when the motor slows down. There it goes. Now the motor's reset and ready to run again. That time you saw a spark when the switch pulled apart. That's normal for it to happen, and it's still okay for it to happen. Nothing bad happened there. Now this motor, you may have noticed, there's four wires going into the side of it. I believe this motor you can hook up to... No, I guess not. Some of them you can hook up to 220. This one here is only specified for 110. But this is a very nice old motor. I bought it at a an auction for ten bucks. Oh, there's another spark. Sometimes it sparks, sometimes it doesn't. But still, it's a very reliable motor. And Century had a good, good idea at calling it the Invincible Motor. As you can see in here, the bearings in this motor are pretty shot. They have a lot of wear on them. I gotta get new wicks for the oilers. So I just open these up manually and a little oil in every now and then. But it has plenty of power to run that grinder. Until next time.